A tiny bit more Battlefield 2042 gameplay for you coming today from NVIDIA, a PC gameplay trailer. As I say, just a few snippets of gameplay interspersed with cinematics that we've seen from other trailers, but we get a look at what the game is going to look like visually with what I'm guessing are ultra or very high graphical settings. And we get a look at a couple of maps that we haven't seen yet either, as well as a change to Jisoo Pike's scanning wall hack ability, so stay tuned for that. First clip, really short, one inside the scrap of the ship on the discarded map before the huge metal side panel is then blown open. The visuals here do look very clean, the lighting is great, and we get to see maybe Sundance's tier 1 specialist skin, that black and red outfit that's awarded for hitting the top mastery level within Battlefield 2042. Then the metal doors, they crash down, moving on to another clip, and we get a look at a brand new weapon. We think this is the Marlin Lever Action Rifle. Likely that's going to sit in the tactical rifle category alongside the DM7, or maybe it'll be considered a sniper with some longer range optics. Hard to say for certain if this is the Marlin Lever Action Rifle, since there's no HUD in any of the trailer, but it's really not that long for us to wait now until the game launches, and we'll know for sure what this weapon is. Next, we get a quick clip on the Kaleidoscope map with Pike as the specialist. And here we get to see a somewhat nerfed version, or I guess you can just say changed version of the scanner ability that sent the community just into meltdown last week. Now it appears that the scanner sends out a pulse that is briefly illuminating enemies in a red outline before removing it and then sending out another pulse. This is a marked difference from the specialist trailer that we saw the other day where the pulse only revealed enemies who were in cover and then kept them illuminated for almost the entire duration of the scan if they stayed in cover, although if you broke the cover, then the red outline would go away. I do prefer this iteration of the effect, but honestly still, I just think DICE would be better off removing this and implementing some kind of like last known location ping on the minimap when you activate the scan that then stays on the minimap for a few seconds and will let you know if there's enemy players in the area and then you can go and find them and try and kill them. That would give the player valuable information, but it wouldn't be a full-blown wall hack. And I will say that there is still a battery indicator for the scan, which isn't fully depleted by the end of the clip after the second pulse that we get to see on the screen. So I think there's probably enough battery there to send out maybe three or four pulses before it deactivates which is just way too powerful, if that is the case. And it will need to be nerfed to just one or two pulses if this is the final version that DICE go with. We've not had any official communication about any changes to the specialist, but I guess we kind of just have to go on what we're seeing. And this is definitely different from what we saw the other day. Besides that, though, we are on the lush green area of Kaleidoscope in the middle of all those skyscrapers. It does look quite interesting. Definitely, it's going to provide some infantry focused areas with all those trees and bushes. And maybe vehicles can look in from the roads on the outside and provide some firepower. And then next, we get some gameplay on the Manifest map. Some people were saying this is orbital, but if you look in the distance, you'll see the giant shipping container yard. And then further out, you get to see that massive sea wall. And we're in the middle of some kind of gigantic storm here, which is a core component of the Manifest map, I think, because. It's all about the rising sea levels, which is why there's a seawall. And if there's a storm, well, then maybe the water comes over. Could be something quite interesting. The trailer here does have a lower frame rate. Now, this is part of the trailer where NVIDIA are pushing ray traced ambient occlusion, which is different from normal ray tracing, I think, and isn't something that was available in previous Battlefield games like Battlefield 5. And I guess that's the reason why we're seeing a lower frame rate, because to do ray traced ambient occlusion, that's going to be pretty heavy on the GPU. You're going to be processing stuff in real time. But again, there's not really a huge amount of information here. So we don't know if it's just, I don't know, low FPS because the graphics are so high or if we are actually watching ray traced ambient occlusion gameplay, which would give us the answer. Manifest does look like an interesting map, though. And if you look closely, you can actually see two tornadoes forming in the distance. I'm not sure if we're going to see that in gameplay or whether just another one is a background effect. We'll have to wait and see. And then lastly, we get a very brief look at the renewal map again. We're out by the solar farm in the desert from a vehicle perspective. It does look pretty cool. It's kind of giving me Operation Firestorm vibes from Battlefield 3. That was one of my favorite maps from that game. Maybe there's some kind of similarity here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the desert setting, but it's not a map that we've seen featured in too much gameplay, at least of the desert area. We did get to see inside the renewal plant and inside the buildings the other day, but 
you hadn't seen desert gameplay so far so now you've got some and that's about it short little video today just wanted to keep you updated let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comments section especially that scanner update to jisoo pike or whatever the wall hack let me know if you think that's a good change or not i'm still firmly in the park of this is not a great idea but let me know what you think i'll catch you in the next one